I'm here with my cabine tree lead hardness tester that I just received the other day. I'm going to do some experiments with it, try to get a feeling for how it works and um, how to determine different sorts of materials. Here I've made up some samples. This is wheel weight, water quenched wheel weight, stick on wheel weight, rain scrap, roof flashing. This is wheel weight that I purposely contaminated with a small amount of zinc. This is linotype. That one is smaller because that's the only amount I had. So I had to make it a little smaller to maintain some thickness on it. I've got a chart here that I made where I'm going to record my readings. I'm going to do a few tests of each and see what I end up with. The way this unit is supposed to work according to the instructions it says um, run the screw point until it just touches the sample and it says it should preferably be on a flat spot. It says after the point just touches the sample note the exact point marker which would be here on the bolt head. It's got marks on it. And it says rotate it exactly one turn and then read the indicator. So what I've got here is straight up wheel weight so I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to turn this until it just touches. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it one full turn. Okay. And that is reading 87 and a half. see the small dent that it made in the sample. I'm going to do another one. Okay, it's just touching. Okay, that's reading 89. Okay, now I'm going to test the water quenched wheel weight. Okay, it's just touching. Okay, that's reading 95. And ninety three. That was the water quenched. This is stick on wheel weight. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be pretty soft. And in the instructions, it says that when um, working with near pure lead or pure lead, that you have to read the indicator very quickly after making the test. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm getting 35.
42. Okay, hey, range scrap. The cat wants to participate. Okay. 45. Fifty-one point five. On that one, I know I went just a little over a full turn, so that one was my fault. Okay. Fifty-one point seven. Flashing thirty. Now this is the wheel weight that's been contaminated with zinc. Linotype. the readings. Let's 
So, wheel weights. Um, 86 and a half, 87 and a half. So it looks like my readings were up in the linotype according to this chart. I understand there may be some variances between different units, and that's understandable. Quenched wheel weight. Um, 92, 93, 95, and that seems to fall right here. It says quenched wheel weight would be in the 90 to 95 range, so that seems to be right on. Stick on wheel weights, getting 35, 41, 42, so 35 is the top end of pure lead, and the Mm, the chart doesn't mention these, but we're near pure lead here, so that would seem to coincide more or less. Rain scrap seems to be in the high 40s. So again, we're somewhere slightly above pure lead. That seems to be expected. Roof flashing is in the mid-30s, which would also be expected to be in the very soft category so that seems reasonable. The zinc contaminated wheel weight seems to be reading in the high 80s which I don't know what it should read I suppose that's probably accurate I would think that zinc added to lead would probably make it harder so it seems okay to me Linotype, um, all red roughly around 89, and it says here Linotype would be 86 to 90, so that would fall within that category. Now, I'm a novice when it comes to lead. I've only been dealing with it for a few months, and I just got this machine and have started playing with it today. Those were the first real tests I did where I actually recorded information and from what I can tell it seems to be accurate I don't know what else to say other than that these numbers that I you saw me take the readings I wrote them down they seem to match pretty close to what's here and I'm happy with the product it looks like a good product looks like it's built well and it should last a long time so if I had to make a suggestion, I've never used any other lead hardness testers, but I know that I like things that are well built and that will last, and this certainly seems to fit the bill. So if you ask me, I would have to recommend this product to other people, plain and simple.